to Tokyo, Vlogmas Day 5, and today I am going on my first influencer trip, gig, business trip. I'm really not sure what to call it quite yet, but I'm going to Oita today. So right now I just have a clean face. I'm just getting ready. So why don't we get ready to go to the airport? By the way, it's 4 in the morning. Oh my god, my eyes are so red. I am tired, but I am happy. I'm ready to go. I'm, I hope I'm not running late. Walking around, feeling free, thinking about what's happened to me from July up till now. Don't know where, don't know how. Lately, I've come. to Futagoji, Futagoji, yes, Futagoji Temple and the crew's gearing up and we're gonna do some videos and some photography and some other fun stuff, make some wishes, get some good luck, that's yes. the plan. Summer ended but we did not, we started something, this thing that we got grew stronger, each day we're together, on the way oh, we're falling in love. So Aki, our wonderful interpreter, was telling me that if you touch the legs of these statues that it should give you more power in your legs or strength in your legs or if you have some sort of pain or health problem with your legs, you're supposed to, you're supposed to touch the legs of these two, I'm not sure if they're deities or not, but um, you're supposed to touch their legs and it's supposed to give you strength. Okay, so now we're going up to the temple. <laughs> So we did a couple of scenes already where we're walking up. Oh, it's so pretty. Christmas time's got the best of me. Then it starts to snow in our hearts. We both know that we're falling in love. To me, it's perfectly clear. We're falling in love. It's true, this part of the year. We just had a really interesting conversation with one of the um, Buddhist monks that live here. And, um... I go, 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 go. Oh, it's okay? Okay. Go down? Okay. Right. Steps are dangerous. <laughs> so he was, uh, telling us um, I was really inquisitive about his life and how he came to be here he said he was born here and his family was here and you know they had him here and I also asked him how he learned English and he said that he had actually studied in New York at another temple I believe and for about three years so it was just really interesting and then I also asked him what his hobby was and he said he's a scuba monk yeah. so anyways now karage? Ima karage? なかなかだけ。行きましょう。Yes, yes. <laughs> 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 oh my god, I'm <laughs> 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 <
I don't know why, but I like to call you Mariana San. It sounds better than Mariana Chan. So we arrived to our next destination, which is the karage shop. It's supposed to be mecha oishi, really delicious. Um, apparently they have a shop in Los Angeles as well that they opened up and I'm super hungry and I'm a little bit car sick, but the staff has been really kind and they stopped at a drugstore to give me some motion sickness medicine. So it was really nice of them, um, but I'm really hungry. Mari Jan! Yay, you look comfortable. I look a little Peku, 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 peku. done some damage to the karage but we did a couple shots of me just eating karage and then Mariana got her vegetarian meal so we did some shots of me eating the karage and it was the most interesting experience I have to say just everybody watching me eat including me including Mariana I watching like, no I was like wow oh, it's so juicy juicy yeah she just, she just kept saying juicy and I was like oh. It was, it was, it was, and she had no food, so I was like, oh my god, this feels a little bit weird, but I did my best. Is that okay? You did really good. Okay. Yeah. Oh, but then they gave her the meal, and then I felt a lot better about it all. But apparently, I'm supposed to eat this entire plate of karage. Karage, by the way, is fried chicken, in case I didn't know already. All right, better get to eating. All right, so we have now left the karage shop. I am definitely full. So we arrived to the next temple, Usajingu Usa Jingu Shrine. Actually, it's not a temple, it's a shrine, Usajingu Shrine. It's getting a little bit colder, so I put on my thicker jacket. But we are walking and we have a tour guide with us. But apparently they don't speak English, so they're working on getting the English tour guide to come to us and help us out. But for now, we're walking around and enjoying the scenery. guy was telling us that this is a shrine temple shrine which means that at first it was a Buddhist temple but it was converted to a, uh, a Shinto shrine this happened during the Meiji period uh, one of the things she was telling us is that even though they converted it into a Shinto shrine they actually preserved this one gate that is significant to being a Buddhist temple gate which I'll show you guys right now yeah, I want to hug it. Yeah. I love you. Amanda's having her tree hugging debut. <laughs> I love you. 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 What's your name? Hiromi. Hiromi. Mm -hmm. Come yep. find Hiromi, she's very lovely. <laughs> Thank you. Feels like magic and God, we got the ceremony. Oh, I grab every occasion. Oh, Okay, so right now we're just kind of getting a tour of the shrine. Um, it's really beautiful. Like, so all the shrines and temples here seem like they're very fantasy. Like, like I feel like I'm in a, a fantasy land. Or it's just very magical. I don't know how else to describe it, but it, it's pure aesthetics here. I am there with you. 